A case of mad cow disease in Alberta has prompted some Asian countries to ban meat coming from Canada. But the head of BC's Cattlemen's Association doesn't expect the issue to affect BC ranchers or consumers. It's really a non-issue other than to that animal that we had to destroy. Uh, because it, it hasn't got implications to the other herd, the rest of the herd to the animal health uh, there, and it has no implication to our food uh, uh, health or anything else. Unlike the classic strain of BSC, also known as mad cow disease, Boone says the illness found in Alberta is not contagious. The important thing to understand in this is that it is not transmissible uh, to humans or to other cattle. Uh, it, it, the um, actual disease itself is not a disease. It's something that has happened within the brain of that animal. And so uh, the risk to humans or to the food is actually non-existent. China, South Korea and the Philippines have banned Canadian meat imports in recent days as a result of the find in Alberta. Boone says he doesn't think the bans will last very long. It, it will, we're expecting, be very short term and really they're just asking more information and doing their due diligence on it. But even if some bans were to remain, Boone says there won't be a surplus of beef. We're in a, a situation right now in our uh, industry where we have uh, a, a, a bigger demand than what we have a supply for at this point in time uh, where um, you know the the amount that we're shipping to China for that period of time uh, really won't see any major change in our marketplace at, at all. He says the incident goes to show how closely regulated Canada's agriculture industry is. We have uh, some of the safest and best uh, beef in the world and we are recognized for it and uh, the consumer can shop with confidence knowing that this isn't going to affect them at all. I think the one thing that should instill some confidence in them is that even though this was atypical and not something we would typically look for or find, we did find it. And that shows that our system of monitoring and checking the safety of our food does work. Sydney Chisholm, Castanet News, Kamloops.